Hello everyone, today I got another game for you, this is Victor in the TF. If you hear any voices in the background, this is taken from my stream, so that is me from my stream talking. Link to my Twitch will be down below, I stream most days at 9pm Eastern. So we take Aerie into this matchup, primarily because we want to poke TF out for his ult roams. Um, he goes for a Corrupting Potion charge trade, so we immediately just back up and make him waste the Corrupting Potion. Since he'll be at full HP before the Corrupting Potion expires. So he's full HP and full mana while the Corrupting Potion is still ticking, which is really, really bad for him. Just going in for little pop shots, little Q trades. He does have Electrocute, so we don't really want to go for those extended trades where you can actually pop his Electrocute. We want to go in for generally two auto attack trades or less from him so he can't pop the Electrocute. So it's like a Q auto auto from him. We'll pop it, obviously. Three hits. We also have a Nocturne jungle, so we're probably not going to be getting any jungle help early. He's just going to be power farming till 6 most likely. Okay, he pops another Corrupting Potion charge while almost full HP, which is really, really bad. He's not even going for a trade. Like, if you're going to pop a Corrupting Potion charge, you use that for your trade, not for just sustaining yourself when he's this healthy already. So he's wasted two Corrupting Potion charges so far. He essentially doesn't have an anything. Since I have a Doran's Ring over him. I should be trading a little more aggressively. Rengar actually got first blood, that's pretty nice. He's gonna most likely die, but... But still, he got one for one and got the first blood, so he got the extra gold. Should be autoing the wave a little more. It's gonna crash the tower here because I'm not autoing it enough. It crashes. TF either warding or recalling. Probably recording in the recalling in the bush right there. Since we have the control ward, we would have seen him walk up. I could laser this bush right now if I want to stop his back, which I probably should. Actually, you know what? No, I shouldn't stop that back. Stopping that back I don't think is very good. Now we have his TP, and he only TP at level 4. So the way you want to play TF is you want to generally recall at level 5 just before that third cannon wave. Before you hit 6. So you're ready, full HP, full items, full whatever, for your ult immediately when you're 6. Recalling TPing back this early is bad, so what I want to do is hard, hard trade. It's fine to waste my HP. It's fine to go for a really aggressive trade since I have TP advantage. I want to try and, try and get him to use all of his potion charges and lose a lot of HP so he can't ult to side lane, uh, side lane uh, once he's 6 immediately. Yeah, good, good. Also, for TF, you want to use all three Dematerializer charges on Caster Minions, because then I think it's at level 5? Five? 5 or 7, you one-shot Caster Minions. I don't remember when it is. Okay. A little low mana here, but that's fine. We still have TP. Just poking... Uh, missing a lot of CS here. Could have set them up a little bit better, but it's not the end of the world. Missed one minion to dodge the Q, which I think is okay. Uh, I shouldn't recall. Good, good, good. I cancelled it. I think it's at level... S it might be at 9, actually. I could be wrong. It might be at level 9 that you one-shot the caster minions. I don't remember. But you do one-shot caster minions at some point with wild cards. So I ended up staying because I would have missed the entire wave if I recalled there. I would have had to burn TP or miss the entire wave. Which, at this point now that I haven't recalled, I ideally want to save my TP for following TF ult. And now that it's a cannon wave, I can recall. TF hits 6 on this wave, I'm going to try and get my back in. Ooh, if he stops my back, that's really good. He did. So ideally there, hopefully we get his flash. He's pretty low mana. Gold card's me. Flash out. Oh. Kane goes for the flash on my Q shield. Oh no. That's so bad for Kane. I should just stay with Nocturne and shove the wave. There's no way TF can kill me. I'm healthy enough to not die from his stray wild cards. I shouldn't have lasered that. I should have saved it. Since I was that close to laser upgrade, I should have um, just autoed the wave so then I could laser this one. It's okay. Nocturne stayed to help me shove the entire wave, which is good. Ward the middle of the lane. Ooh, that's too close to tower, I think. That's too close to tower. So generally, warding in the lane like that is good for TF, because then you'll know what side of the map he's trying to alt to. It's good to put, like, a rotational ward is what we call it. 
in the middle of the lane. That's too close to tower, so he's just gonna clear the ward though. You wanna place it on that like little triangle just before where the ward is there. You wanna place it at the point of that triangle I paste in the lane there. If you could see the mapping on the ground, like the print on the ground. You wanna place it there. Okay, I have TP, I have laser upgrade, we're feeling good. You just gotta watch out for TF ult. He's most likely gonna go bot lane since top lane's obviously not there. Rengar's even looking to posture down bot side, which is decent. I, I guess it's not awful, but it, it's, I mean, he's gonna lose a lot. I should head top lane here. I should shove this lane immediately and then walk top lane based off the Rengar's play. If Since I don't think he has teleport right now. Does he even have teleport? I don't know. I haven't been paying attention to that. Uh, okay, they gangbang bot lane. There's my next rotational ward down. We see Kane tops out of middle. And TF's probably gonna go bottom here. I don't think I need to TP to that. No, just, I should be walking top lane now. Now the top wave's crashing. And no one's there to absorb that XP. That's a really bad macro for me. I didn't pay attention to the Rengar's pathing at all. And now Kane zones me off the wave. Uh, not all the wave though, but that entire top wave is gone for a few kills in the bot lane, but then they trade a kill back anyway, so It's uh, not really worth for us. Gregus gets a bunch of free farm Okay, two lasers and this wave's gone then we'll probably reset Yeah, yeah poor poor macro so ideally there what I should have done is hard shove that wave that cannon wave immediately and then started walking top lane and then I had TP in case I needed to go bot lane. Okay, now he's trying to... There's no way he gets this. What is that Doctrine doing? That's literally end. He has no bot lane. There's literally no bot lane there. I'm going to go into the pit. Oh, I could get this. Oh, it was at 87 HP. I fucked up my combo there. I didn't do that correctly. I should have been able to secure that. That was a mess up on my part. And then brain dies. RCS is decent, not too bad. 66 in 8 minutes. Not great, but not awful. Okay, recall here. I could buy Sorks or Merc Treads this game. Um, I think Merc Treads is the play. Because TF Gold Card is so reliable. Yeah, good, good, good. TF Gold Card is so difficult to space, especially once he gets Rapid Fire Cannon. So that tenacity is going to be a saving grace. And then they also have Lulu Polymorph and Gregus Body Slam. Because Gregus Body Slam counts as a stun. It does count as a knockup, but it's it's a stun as well. Uh, I don't no don't TP. Don't TP to that. That's a waste. Nocturne is all six. He can look for TF here. I don't have ulti, but I think if Rengar or Nocturne lands his fear, he's dead. Trying to pull the wave a little forward there so it doesn't get to my tower, which is good. Ideally, you want your caster minions outside of tower range if you're trying to hold a freeze, because then when the melee minions go to hit your casters. They're not tanking tower. So you can hold the wave there longer. I should have looked to see if he had a sweeper before I placed that ward. I looked immediately after placing the ward, which was bad. And then Nocturne's dead. I need to get out. Yeah. The Nocturne's playing really poorly, actually. He's just... He doesn't understand lane priorities at all. He doesn't understand that he needs a top laner and a mid laner to have... Or just one of them to have priority over the lane. And the other one just needs to be there. For him to be able to do objectives. He did it two times. Once on Dragon. Once on Herald now. I'm trying not to give this away. Rengar's looking for a gank middle here. Rengar ulted. Waiting for Rengar to get a little closer. Then he does. Nice. Should be dead TF. Beautiful. I should shove this. Nice. We didn't miss cannon. Uh, shove. 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 Good. Good laser. Very good laser. Starting it from the caster there is actually really, really good. Because then you can line it up properly. To hit every single caster there. Kane's gonna stop my back now. Ugh. Okay. Back up more and then get my recall in. Um, do I go crown? I think Leandre's this game. He is red cane, so he's gonna be going that healy tanky kind of the bruiser build. He's in blue cane. So I think the Leandre's is gonna be very good. Wait, is he blue cane? No, he's red cane, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Red cane, red cane, red cane. He just looks weird on that skin. That's red cane though. Okay, I'm TPing top here. I should have TPed to the tower. I assumed they would immediately pop the tower with Harold, but they 
Yeah, that was bad. Now we're fucked. Nocturne needs to engage. He took way too long. Nocturne needed to immediately engage on them. That was my fault for TPing to that, expecting Nocturne to do the correct thing. We've already seen that he's a little bit of a monkey. So the correct thing there was to me to TP to the tower. Nocturne for to immediately go in while Rengar was cutting up, and then we all three of us collapse on those two before TF can alt in. Nocturne shouldn't be scared of anything. He walks in, spell shields the Gragas body slam or the cane knockup. And then we should be able to easily win that 3v2 before the TF has time to ult in. Instead, we lose uh, two, maybe. Nocturne might die here as well. He shouldn't, but he might. Okay, good. He backs up all the way. Okay, really, really poor play. This is why you don't play around your teammates. You play around yourself because we expected that Nocturne to do the correct thing when he didn't. Which is not good, obviously. You're going to be the same person every game. Your teammates are not going to be the same people every game. So you have to play around yourself. The consistency of yourself, not your teammates. Treat your teammates like NPCs. Okay, hard shoving. Dragon coming up soon here. I don't have TP. So I'm going to start running down bottom here. Now they're just TF though. I don't think I need to be here. I think they just do that without me. I should head back middle now. Yeah, I'm not. I should just head middle. I'm wasting way too much time now. Gragas is middle. They got that. Yeah, they literally do all that without me. What am I? I'm wasting so much time. And now I miss probably that entire wave middle. Because. Yeah. And again, I expected Nocturne to help me. If Nocturne walked with me to escort me through river there, would have been okay. But he recalled. So now I'm going to have to miss the entire wave and just recall. It's already too dangerous to even go through a jungle. What we needed there was Lucian or was Brand to shove the bot wave, uh, Blitzcrank and Nocturne to walk with me through River, to go to mid lane there. But that obviously didn't happen. Okay, we're low. We're fine, we live. Rengar did TP in. Maybe he gets the Lucian. I'm trying to poke the Lucian enough for Rengar to get the kill, but I couldn't. I missed Laser. Alt the Gragas. Kane. Or sorry, Nocturne can get him. What was that? Three for one? Three for two? Not good, but I guess not terrible. Three for two is not awful. Okay, we have full Leandres now. We're pretty strong. That's a dra that dragon's gone. Nocturne's literally in thing. There's no chance in hell he gets this dragon. He's obviously... It's, he's so bad. Holy crap. This is an exact example of what not to do. He has jungle camps up instead of blindly trying to steal a dragon that he has a maybe a 1% chance of stealing. He has Krugs, literally his entire blue side's up. He could have been farming all of that gold while the dragon was going down and then Bran just walks up and dies. This game is very, very much so on me to be consistent and not end here. Because I know that my team's a bunch of uh, questionable human beings. And they're still fighting down there for no reason. There's literally nothing to fight over. Like, it's pointless. The dragon's gone. There's no way you're stealing that. I'm going to try and help the Rengar here. I guess that's okay. Maybe. It feels a little risky. I need to run. Now I have to flash because I waited too long. Yeah. I shouldn't have helped the Rengar. This is a fiesta fight. I should have just looked to shove mid lane. I'm probably dead here. Eh. It's close. Uh. Oh, we still die, yeah. Yep. I'm just joining the Fiesta now, which I shouldn't do. Which is very, honestly, it's a very hard habit to break, understanding that you don't play. And that was so obvious. There was no chance to tell Nocturne kills there. I even knew that, and I'm not a Nocturne player. That was just int. But again, it's very hard to not get caught up in a Fiesta when games are like this. You need to center yourself, focus that you need to get your farm, get your gold, so you can carry those team fights. Because your team's going to int whether you're there or not, so you may as well not die. Sometimes you want to try and salvage a bad situation, but these are not those situations. You want to salvage a bad situation if, like, your team's fighting over a Baron or something like that, where there's actually a chance you can stop it or steal it. These situations are just pointless. The dragon was already gone. There's literally no reason to fight in the red side jungle there. I had my whole minion wave medal that I could have taken. Brent said objective bounty. You know what? We were actually throwing on purpose so we get objective bounties. That's what it was. It's actually the strat nowadays. 
I'm joking, by the way, if you guys can't tell. Please don't intentionally throw your games for objective bounties. Okay, I started farming the jungle camps because I know Nocturne's a yikes. A big yikes. Perfect. Okay. Gragas middle. Just sit back farm here. Gragas can potentially body slam E flash on us. I don't know if he has flash or not right now, so I need to watch out. Okay, looks like three middle. And Lucian's bot lane by himself. That should be a dead Lucian. Uh, I don't know why Brand and Rengar are heading top lane. Brand should be middle. It's fine for Rengar to push, but I need one other person here to... Unless they're going to go bot lane. Okay, never mind. That's just, again, I guess they tried to get a pick, whatever. Now they're all rotating bot lane. Brand's finally coming back, or is he doing Herald? Uh, he's doing Herald, I think. Yeah, he's doing Herald. So they're literally, their whole team's bot lane. So we try to salvage a bad situation by getting the objective bounties from Harold and we got top tower. Rengar going top there was fine. Brand, I think, should have stayed middle. Because in case their team didn't collapse on that bot lane. And now they get two towers there, probably. We should just... I should just head middle. I'm not holding that bot tower. There's no way. If I was there or not, it's going down. So they get two towers and two kills. While we get... Harold and oh King gets this doesn't he? Gravity field alt. Oof. If I had slow upgrade, he's dead, but I uh, don't have my W upgrade. And I missed my gravity field. Okay, they get two towers. Oh, so two towers for two towers, except we got the objective bounties for both of them and the Herald. While well, they got two kills. So honestly, a pretty even trade. For the most part. Honestly, I think that trade's better for us because their whole team was grouped bot lane. So they were sharing XP for the wave while we were farming two lanes. I think that's actually a better play for us. Not gonna lie. Okay, I'm probably going Zonya's next. I have a laser upgrade now, and Nocturne, of course, comes to steal my, my, uh, my cannon. Classic. I should get Fiendish Codex and Stopwatch here. And then probably Void Stuff. Oh, actually, Healing Reduction would be very... Now that I think about it. And Fiendish Codex. I decided to go for this. Okay, yeah. So the healing reduction actually is way more important now that I think about it. Because they have red cane. And then, um... Gregus healing is always relevant. Lucian has bloodline healing, most likely. The red cane is the big part, though. The red cane healing, redu healing reduction on him is massive. And then the stopwatch to help me survive. Instead of the Fiendish Codex cooldown for damage. Oh. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I inted there, but then we get TF at least. Lucian's pretty low. Kite back. I should be able to kill Lucian here. Oh, I kited too far. I kept running the moment. I had like one or two seconds left on my Q. Oh, I probably still die. Do I get him at least? Wait, he's inting. <laughs> Gragas is there. Brand's here as well. And that Lulu probably dies. Oh, unless he misses. Oh no, Brand missed everything, and then I got Greg assaulted in. Yikes. That Lucian kind of trolled that, but then I guess we did as well. So I spaced, I got a little too scared there. I could have killed the Lucian way, way sooner. So when I was running away to the bush the first time, um, the moment I had one second left on my Q cooldown, I should have turned on him. And then I would have been able to land laser with the slow, and then Q auto, and he probably would have died because I don't think Lulu was in range of shield. We still get him in the end because he just runs at us, though. Is this their second or third? Oh my god, Blitz. Good flash from Nocturne. Oh my god, and he fails his smite. That's actually so, so, so important. Even though it's only a Cloud Soul, he, me TPing here is not really... Is there a point? I don't think there's a point, but yeah, let's see. I don't have ulti. If I had ulti, if TPing there is fine, but since I don't have ulti, I don't think TPing is... There's a point. I just gotta watch out here. My ulti's back up now. Brand lands. No, the brand's bad. Brand's ending now. They're so killable here. Oh. Do we get them or do they get out? Gragas knocked me into him, which actually is good. Just let me kill him. We got one, we get two. And Lulu. TF are the only two up here. That was actually a good flank for Rengar. The brand positioning was a little troll, but. 
Eh. That's fine. I have uh, Zanya's in base here. I'm gonna probably grab blue buff first so Nocturne doesn't steal it from me because he seems like the kind of player that would do that. And then bot wave. I assume Brand. Yeah, Brand's going down there. I should take Grump as well. I should be studying Grump as well because you could do both camps at the same time. Am I looking to do Scuttle Crab at spawn? Oh my god, that almost reset. What am I looking to do here? I blue trank at the Baron, which is fine. We see TF there rotating up lane. Up, he has ultimate. I'm almost certain TF has ultimate, so going top lane there is really bad. If I showed there, TF could have ulted me, and we don't have any vision in the river there, so I could have been collapsed on very easily from Kane and him. And then Kane's here anyway. Yeah, Kane was here. That was almost really, really in for me. Nocturne trades one for one, probably. He gets the pick on TF. Now the Gragas is TPing top. Lucian's in river here. Rengar doesn't have ulti. If Rengar had ulti, I would have collapsed on the Lucian, but since he doesn't, I'm just going to try and help these guys, I guess. I want to just back up by Zanya's, but we'll try and do what we can without anything, hopefully. It's fine to try and save them as long as you don't die, or you're not putting yourself in a situation to really die. Okay, Rengar. Oh, does that kill him with the Andres? I don't think so. I missed my laser. Close. Now Brand uh, tanks literally the whole Lucian ultimate. I think we can stop this Baron. We have the blue trinket on it, so we see it. If So they haven't started it yet. But if they did try to start it, like now, I think we can stop this. I should stay. Uh, instead, I back to buy the Zanyas. Rengar probably dies here. Yeah, there's TF ult. I guess Rengar did stall them a little bit, and he traded one for one on Lulu, so... Not awful, I guess? Because they really could have Baron there. Now they're going to it, I think. Nocturne has ulti. I just gotta make sure I don't get screwed over by walk getting uh, bush cheese with a face check here. This is very, very contestable. I'm glad we're contesting this. This is good. You should be. Oh, ult. Oh, I ulted way too late there. And I didn't Zanya's the Gragas body slam. Uh, a little, ugh. That was so bad. So, I'm probably, yeah, red buff. So what I should have done is I, I was way too slow on my ulti from Blitzcrank landing the hook. I should have ult laser q autoed the lucian and killed him there before he was able to flash out blitz did screw over his own um combo but still i should have been able to do that faster but i don't think they can't we killed their primary damage either so they can't baron anyway so we go what four for two there but stopping them from doing baron i guess that's okay but i could have played that fight way better yeah blitz definitely screwed up his combo there you need to hook, alt, and then use your E. So then they have no time to do anything. Because if you go for hook and then E, they have a small window to be able to flash in there. Okay. TP's back up in 12 seconds. Same with ulti here. We got that one dragon, so they're not on the soul point. It is only cloud soul, but that's it's still soul. The slow resistance actually matters against Victor. Because all oh, your, your W upgrade. Since that's what the Cloud Dragons do. Okay, I'm in a little bit of an awkward spot here. I don't really know what to do. I should probably farm wolves right now. Taking a little bit too much time. I should farm wolves. I need to look to farm wolves. Because stepping up to this wave is a little greedy. We see TF bot lane, so now it's okay. Until we sh TF showed, we could not step up to that lane. Because we could just get TF ulted while Kane's there and just die. Okay. Rengar gets TF, but Kane gets our Nocturne, which I think is an okay trade. Kane's here. Uh, uh, yeah, that was bad. I missed laser there. Oh, really good gravity field, though. Damn, I got them both. I think I live here. Zonya's. Let's save me. Good locket. Okay, nice. So, it was kind of int for me to turn back in after I missed laser. But it was a good flash on the uh, the Kane knockup. That was a bit of an int fight, but I mean, I guess it worked out. I slightly trolled that, but then that gravity field was super clutch. Looking to TP to Dragon here so we can get this. Yeah, that's a good TP. That's fine. Let's. I tried to predict the dash. I think that's fine. There was a, there was an attempt. I think it's okay. Now we should get Dragon for free here. TF ulting in, or sorry, TPing in. That should be a dead TF. You fly out. Oh, Kane and Ronnie flashes out. That's super troll from TF. We get this dragon no matter what. He shouldn't have TP'd. Nice. Two dragons on us and more objective bounties. Lovely. 
We should be able to, yeah, I think we can. Hey, it's a 5v4 right now. Oh, Rengar's bot lane, though. Maybe not. 4v4 mid lane. I think we can still get this tower, though. They're lacking. TF's, like, pretty much their entire wave clear. So, if he's not there, we're fine. Okay, nice. Oh, we are also going Void Staff next, which makes total sense. For the damage, since they're stacking that MR a little bit, we have a... Double AP team, Brand and Victor, so obviously they're going to be stacking a lot of MR. Blitz looking for a hook over the wall here. Uh, they see us on a ward there. There's a. And there's Gragas. We are grouped in TF's top lane. We could potentially do something here. We just need to watch out. My, I need to watch out because I don't have Zonya, Zid, or Flash. If I get Gragas engaged on, I'm dead. That top tower is going down no matter what there, so it's not really proper holding that. I need to watch out because King and Gragas could still be on our blue side. They're either on Baron or looking to bush cheese us, and they were bush cheesing, yeah. They're pushing middle, good mid, good kill on Lucian middle. Good pick, I guess, yeah. Good pick, I guess. As long as we don't let them Baron here, we're fine. Which, they're still trying to look for bush cheeses, which I think they should have immediately done Baron. The moment the Rengar and Nocturne ulted there, they should look for Baron, but they're still looking for Bushies, yeah. The correct play there is just to farm top wave until we see... Oh, what, what? Rengar? Uh, okay. Gragas. No, we're just gonna look for Kane when he ults out. Good hook. Oh, I didn't get my gravity field though. She's dead though, that should be... Yeah, he's dead. What was that? The TF's really bad as well. Our Nocturne's bad, but so is the TF, so. Good Nocturne engage. That should be a dead cane, I hope. Get my healing reduction on him. I queued out a minion there, I think. Holy crap, that took a lot of kill. That was because I queued out the minion. That should be Baron. That should be Baron. They literally only have Gregus Lucian. We have Smite up. I can just tank it. It's fine. I should just get close and tank, yeah. Oh, Gregus knock. Gregus Lucian. Uh, we should look. Took a little too long to turn there. That Gregus is a fast boy. He should be dead though. We got the slow. Rengar's collapsing on him from the other side. What am I doing? Don't clear the ward. Just go. Ugh. I needed to just go. But now we gave Gregus an escape route since I was hitting the ward. Kane is still dead for 12 seconds, so I think we can try to do this again. This is a little risky since Blitz is so low, but now we have Brand. Also, I don't really have faith in the Nocturne Smite since he's proven that he's a pretty uh, monkey player. He did land it though, which is very, very nice. Reset, we have full Void Staff here. We should probably sell Doran's Ring as well for control wards. Uh, we don't. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Probably going Death Cap next item. Or just full completing Morello, depending on how much gold we have. I'm trying to hit 16 before the next fight so I have that nice, juicy ultimate. But I don't think I can. No, they're fighting. This is... Oh, well. This is a pointless fight again. There's literally no reason to go, but Rengar is committing with his ultimate. This is a very random fight. Oh, wait, Kane's top lane. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Why is Kane top lane? The moment Kane showed top lane, this was a fine play. I don't know what Kane is doing. That was, uh, he's literally lot through the game. He literally just threw the game. Can just threw the game, 100%. We can't engage on that if Kane was there because that's pretty damaged, but the moment he showed top one, they're lacking their carry for the most part. He's most of their kills, so yeah. We get tower, we can even, no, no, back off. Yeah, don't take any dragons coming up. We're a little too chunked here and now Kane is recalling. There he is. Kane was recalling there. Oh, Gregus. Lines the slow. Do we land laser? Good poke. Good slow. And def goes in. I have my ulti. This is a choke. This should be good. Delete Gragas. Go for Kane next. I do have Zanyas. Looking for Zanyas on the Kane. Beautiful. Oh, JK. Uh, I can kill this Kane. I should be fine here. I have Zanyas. Good Zanyas. He's dead, right? Oh, he's not? Wow. I thought he would die there from the tower shot Leandri's burn. I guess not. I guess he went into a wall or something there. 
Close. We got the inhib anyway. I think I could have. Uh, did I play that as best I could on the cane? This is bad. This is just a coin toss. We're going to get both Nexus Towers, but I don't know if we end. It's, yeah, there was Lulu. Do we end? No way, right? Oh my god, it's so close. It's so close. I was chain CC'd. I couldn't. I couldn't hit it. Oh no. That felt really coin flipping. There's no reason to do that. The dragon is still up. We could have just done dragon. Rengar could TP to any of those wards and ult to the Nexus right now. You should wait till he sees one person and then go. He sees Lucian. He sees Kane. Once they're a little bit away from that ward, Rengar should just TP and ult in. Mm. Also, yeah, if I, I just said in the background, if I bought a blue elixir, we would have ended for sure because I would have taken that tower that little bit faster. You should go, you should go. You should go right now, right now, right now. Rengar, go. Oh, he didn't, he, no. Rengar, yeah, everyone's saying go and he didn't, he, the ward, what? that was so bad, the ward dish oh was uh, timed out. He could have ended the game there 100%. The Nexus is like, what, three auto attacks for him, maybe four. He TPs to that, alts, runs to the Nexus. Goes right to it. They were going to Dragon. He had the time. But he's playing like a bitch. Again, he could go now. Why is he not TPing? Looking for the fight instead. He decided not to, though. He decided to go for the fight instead. Actually lives there. What the fuck? Now it's too late. I think now it's a little too late for him the to go for that. that because uh, the Hell Nexus is probably healthy enough for him to not solo it oh, fast shit. enough. Because the Nexus is healing constantly. We did grab the Needless of our Drod, by the way, looking for either Shadow Flame or Death Cap, whatever I have enough gold for. Probably Shadow Flame. I don't think I'm going to complete Death Cap in this game. The game should be over very soon. Hopefully, at least. But yeah, that cane, that cane play top lane, honestly, through the game. Like, actually through the game. And they would have Cloud Soul right now if Kane landed that proper smite earlier, when it was at like 70 HP and then knocked and secured it. When Nocturne basically spoon fed them a, an objective. Okay, we just shove bot lane here. That's fine. That's the last inner tower left. Okay, my TP's not up for 50, so I hope my team doesn't get caught out here. I'm trying to keep my eye on them. Okay, and shove. Look for the tower. That uh, should be a dead TF. Yeah, Nocturne going in on him. Gravity feeling there, I think, is pointless. Because he's going to obviously flash. Oh, it's Nocturne. It's Nocturne lives, right? Oh, wait. Leandries? Yeah, I guess Leandries? So, I guess. Okay, my team's fighting randomly here. I'm going to try and rotate over because these fights are game changing. We've got the tower. I'm just going to push now. Now that he's running to the. Yeah, no. JK, now we're out. Random fight mid lane. Literally no reason to fight. Actually, no reason to fight. Baron's coming up here. This is how you just throw the game. We're, I think... Oh, I do have enough for Death Cap, actually. Wow. Just enough with uh, Futures Market. Everyone's flaming the Rengar because he didn't end when he had the opportunity. Now it's beyond too late, though. The Nexus is almost full HP. I don't think his Rengar understands it. Ultimate makes him stealth and gives him movement speed. No, he cannot walk through them, but he can walk around them. Okay, now, I don't really want to do a Baron, honestly. Like, giving, doing Baron is a potential coin flip because it gives them the chance to steal. We don't need Baron to end. And giving them Baron allows them to stall the game out long enough. To potentially scale, get some more items. Okay, we saw TF bot lane, I think it was, and now he's ulting. Because I guess he thought we were on Baron. Now that TF doesn't have ult though, because he's trolling. This is such a coin This is. Like but we have to worry about zoning the Kane off. Yeah, there's Kane. Good. Oh, it's Gregus. JK. We got the kill on Gregus. I thought that was Kane for some reason. There's Kane. I almost got the steal, honestly. It was pretty close. Lucian ulted, and then Kane was very close there. Okay, now that we do have Baron though, we can end the game easily. Good hook from Blitzcrank to get the pick on the Gregus. It was good. TF never frost. I should just go middle here. Don't worry about the cane. Just go middle and end. Still open Nexus. That inhib's coming up pretty soon though. Like now, yeah. 
We have Baron. This is free. This should be GG here. A lot, a lot, a lot of misplays from both teams, honestly. Macro. A couple big macro mess ups from me as well. And that's a good TF. Okay. Um, I played decently. Like I said, a couple big macro mess ups from me. But for the most part, not too bad. Jesus fuck. Kind of curious to see. I should probably give it to Blitzcrank. Yeah, yeah, Blitzcrank played very well that game. The Nocturne and the Rengar kind of trolled it a lot. We still do top damage, I hope. We did, nice. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you want to tune into my stream, link to that will be down below. I stream most days on Twitch, 9 p.m. Eastern. Thank you for watching, everybody. See you next time.